This is our first year of our carbon farming planning cohort. It builds upon a long concept we've had of bringing farmers together. It's always been our philosophy and approach at Cross Hatch Center for Art and Ecology to connect farmers directly to one another for learning. We find that when farmers are on their land with friends and neighbors, learning just unfolds. We bring together groups of about six to eight and they get some education around climate smart practices and then they go on tours of each other's farms with this education in mind and they're giving each other assessments that are custom tailored to the way that they want to steward the land that will also help reduce carbon inputs and help sequester carbon. Each farmer walks away from this process with a plan that they can implement. And they also get resources where they can go to get additional support through USDA programs, mini grants, and microloans. It really creates a community around carbon farming. And then the next cohort that goes through the same program is introduced to the first cohort. And now you've got a bigger network in the region all working in the same direction toward climate change solutions. We had 13 individuals from nine different properties participate in the program. It just gives you a space to talk about sustainable farming initiatives or forestry initiatives. I worked with Monica Castor. Together we built a conservation plan. She came out along with another forester and we walked the property and it really helped for me to see kind of the possibilities that I could do with this land and how the NRCS could help. To describe something on the phone and to see it in person are two totally different things. You can tell when you walk the land with them what they're really passionate about. It doesn't matter what size land you have, NRCS can come out and assist you with it. There was a good mix of people who had been farming for quite a few years versus people who haven't been or people who are just looking at getting into it. Found out right before our first meeting that I was pregnant. So I definitely was a little worried. I was able to manage the time and the workload. I've been able to work with the program even pregnant and after having a little one. This cohort model is absolutely replicable. We have a few facilitation points that we suggest strongly for how to bring groups together. We weren't sure by coming together around the concept of carbon or climate that we would necessarily have enough similarity between farmers for fruitful learning to take place, and it did. Folks care about where we're at in this moment in our carbon trajectory, and they want to play a role in the solution as an extension of the land stewardship that brought them to farming in the first place. Also, I was reminded about the power of the farm tour as a learning process. On many of our walks, folks were excited and eager to engage in questions and conversation for projects that might be three or five years out. In our first meeting in particular, sharing really openly and transparently about our hopes, goals, and expectations for the project really brought people on board fully and committed to this process of working together. This project, this program, this meeting of farmers was supported by the U.S. Department of Agriculture through their Extension Risk Management Education Program. Farms that are more diverse are more resilient, so we were able to engage in conversations about farm diversification. Also through this work, we connected farmers to federal resources for conservation planning, climate smart farming, and regenerative agriculture. The long-term plan is to grow a lot of perennial crops. So I really want to just plant something that you don't have to rip out every year. That's really how you start to really build carbon in the soil. We're actually looking at implementing fencing for rotational grazing, as well as water management, and creating a five-year plan that we hadn't put together, worked with at all, or knew was an option. It, it'll give you information so you kind of have a stepping stone to know where the next steps might be. It might take a little bit of time to get there, but the main thing is, is you kind of have a path that you can take. It means helping with carbon, helping with soil, helping the environment in a whole. You can build a conservation plan to make your dreams come to fruition.